हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अमित फ्राम आर एफ अकेडमी ऑफ क्लास टेंथ सो आज हम डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं अपनी एन सी आर टी एन सी आर टी ऑफ चैप्टर थर्ट फिफ्टीन विच इज़ आर इन्वामेंट सो बेसिकली इन्वामेंट क्या होता है इन्वामेंट हमारे सराउंडिंग्स में जो चीज़ें हैं दैट इज द फिजिकल एंड द बायोलॉजिकल कंडीशन ऑफ आवर सराउंडिंग्स इट इज़ कॉल्ड इन्वामेंट सो इसके बाद आता है हमारा इको सिस्टम इको सिस्टम होता है इंट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द नॉन लिविंग एंड लिविंग कंपोनेंट्स इन एन एरिया टुगेदर इट इज़ कॉल्ड द इको सिस्टम सो द सिंपल डेफिनेशन ऑफ इको सिस्टम इज इको सिस्टम द टू द टू मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इको सिस्टम इज बायोटिक एंड ए बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स एंड इको सिस्टम फर्दर डिवाइड इन टू टू टाइप विच इज नेचुरल इको सिस्टम एंड द आर्टिफिशियल इको सिस्टम नेचुरल इको सिस्टम इज द इको सिस्टम विच इज अकर इन नेचर लाइक यू कैन सी डैट द रिवर्स एंड द फॉरेस्ट एंड आर्टिफिशियल इको सिस्टम इज द इको सिस्टम इन विच विच इज मेड बाय द ह्यूमन बींग्स human beings and like human beings you can say that ponds and the ponds and the parks and picnic spots so now we can talk about that biotic component biotic ecosystem biotic ecosystem biotic ecosystem is a ecosystem in which the all the living component living components comes means the living organism biotic components consist of all the living organism which is in our environment so living organism you can say that you can say that that the organism like animals and plants did consist of biotic ecosystem they are comes in biotic ecosystem so the you can easily see that the living organisms or living constituents and the next topic is uh, the biotic ecosystem consists of three types which is which is producer consumer and decomposers so producers producers are the producer are the organism which is which make their food by the inorganic substances which is may, for example you can say that plants plants and the consumers are the organism which is directly or indirectly depend on the consumers which on producers consumers comes in the comes in the deer like the after the after the consumer we have we are having decomposers which decompose the consumers dead and decaying organic matters in decomposers the mainly we found that the lion so after it we are having that the abiotic components abiotic components are the non living components which is comes in our surroundings like in non living components are the component like temperature wind and many of the things like in the surroundings which is non living after it we are having our food chain
so what is the food chain food chain is the interaction between the organism in which the energy transfer of energy is done by the transfer of the uh, by in which the organism eat another organism and they transfer their energy transfer of food and energy by the interaction of the organisms like after it the food chain for instance of food chain you can see that the grass after the grass grass is eaten by the deer and at the last deer will be eaten by the lion only so in food chain you will find that there are the some tropic levels which is it consists of four tropic levels which is first is producers like plants plants and then primary consumers secondary consumer and tertiary consumer primary consumer consists of deer not like in the it we have the plants so it after it we are having are the deer which is our secondary consumer and deer after it deer will be eaten by the lion so the after it we are having the food food web the branching network of the food chains in which many of the food chains and uh, many of the food chains combine and they form a web like structure which is called as food web after the food web we are having our main and interesting topic which is ozone depletion the ozone depletion is very important and significant for the for the students because it comes in many times in the exam that what is the ozone depletion and what is the formula of the ozone the formula of ozone is the o3 molecule it is a molecule which is which is made by the three atoms of the o nascent oxygen it is made by first when the o2 when the ultraviolet rays the ozone layer protect us from the ultraviolet rays and when the ultraviolet rays falls on the o2 the o2 splits into two parts which is nascent oxygen two nascent oxygen which is o plus o and after it o2 combines with the one nascent oxygen and forms o3 ozone ozone combines ozone is com is a combination of the o2 plus o nascent oxygen and after it the how the ozone is depleted ozone is deplet depleted by the cfcs and the methane gases that cfcs is the chlorofluorocarbons and the methane is the gases which depleted the ozone in 1985 ozone is depleted in the antarctica and in the antarctica and the ozone hole the ozone hole the is the form of the ozone layer in which the when the ozone layer get the hole it is called as ozone hole so after it the ozone the cfcs gas is produces by the air conditioners and the refrigerants and by the electronic appliances mainly the electronic appliances it is get produces so we should not have to use our uh, cfcs gases because by it the ozone get depleted and if it it get depleted so the ultraviolet rays uh, directly 
press on our earth surface and it will cause the many of the skin cancer skin diseases so skin diseases like the skin cancer and many of the diseases and at the last we are having the topic which is waste waste are the useless or the discarded material which we produce the household waste is called the garbage it is it is of two types which is it consists of two substances which is biodegradable and non biodegradable biodegradable are the substance which is uh, which can be broken down by the microorganisms biodegradable are for example instance you can say that biodegradable consist of the food peels or vegetable peels and the waste uh, which is produced mainly in the homes and the waste is in, uh, main thing that waste it can be in the form of the solid liquid and gaseous biodegradable are the substance which is uh, like for instance example it is of vegetable peels and non biodegradable are the substance which can be broken not which can not be broken down by the microorganisms and it consist of the uh, plastics and metals So it is a short summary of our chapter 15 thank you